Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, whose uh, side lengths are represented by 2x plus 3, x plus 4, x plus 1, and 2x plus 2, respectively. And moreover, this angle uh, A, B, C, and this angle B, C, D are uh, 90 degrees each. And now we are going to calculate the area of this trapezoid A, B, C, D by finding the x value first. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now we are going to manipulate uh, these uh, side lengths in order to find the value of uh, x. So therefore we are going to draw this perpendicular D, E such that we get this uh, right triangle A, E, D. And now we can see that this uh, A, B, C, D is our rectangle since all these uh, angles are uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side length. If this side length is x plus 4, this side length has got to be x plus 4 as well. Now we know that this whole uh, length uh, A, B is uh, 2x. Uh, plus 3 and this uh, length uh, CD is uh, x plus uh, 1. So therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, AE is going to be this length uh, 2x uh, plus 3 minus uh, this length uh, x plus 1. And let's go ahead and open up this parentheses by distributing this negative uh, sign. So this could be written as 2x uh, plus uh, 3 minus x uh, minus uh, 1. So therefore, if we combine the like term, that's going to give us x plus 2. So therefore, our this uh, side length AE is going to be x plus 2. So thus the side length of this uh, right uh, triangle AED turns out to be x plus 2, x plus 4, and uh, 2x plus 2. And now once again, let's focus on this uh, right triangle AED and we want to solve for x. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is x plus 2 whole square, b is x plus 4 whole square equal to c in our case is 2x plus 2 whole square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. I'm going to apply it on these uh, binomials across the board. So therefore the first binomial if we expand it is going to give us uh, x square plus 4x plus 4 plus likewise second one is going to give us x square plus 8x plus 16 equals to on the right hand side this is going to give us 4x square plus 8x plus 4. Now we can see this 8x and this 8x they are gone this positive 4 and this positive 4 gone as well. So let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So this is going to give us a 2x square plus 4x plus 16 equals to 4x square. Let's go ahead and move everything to the other side. So therefore we're going to have a 4x square minus 2x square minus 4x minus 16 equal to 0 or simply that is going to give us a 2x square minus 4x minus 16 equal to 0. Now we can see this equation is divisible by 2 across the board so I'm going to divide each and every term by 2. So therefore this equation is going to become x square minus 2x minus 8 equals to Zero. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, by grouping and uh, factoring. 
So therefore, let's focus on this uh, middle term, negative 2x. Let's manipulate this thing. This could be written as negative 4x plus 2x. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this negative 2x by negative 4x plus 2x. And now we can see between first these two terms, x is in common and between these last two terms, 2 is in common. So therefore, let me go ahead and factor out x over here. So we got x minus 4 and here I'm going to factor out positive 2. So we got x minus 4 equal to 0. And now we can see our x minus 4 and x minus 4 is in common. So therefore, this could be written as x minus 4 times x plus 2 turns out to be equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and separate these factors. I can write uh, x minus 4 equal to 0 and the other one is x plus 2 equal to 0. So therefore for this equation we are going to get x equals to positive 4 value and for this uh, equation we are going to get x equal to negative 2 value. And now we can see x equal to negative 2 value is uh, not possible because if we replace uh, this uh, x value by negative 2 over here, negative 2 plus 1 is going to give us uh, negative 1 value and we know that the side length cannot be negative. So therefore we are going to reject this x equal to negative 2 value and we are going to accept uh, x equal to 4 value. And here's our next step. We figured out our x equal to positive 4 value. We are going to replace uh, x by 4 each and everywhere we see over here. So therefore this side length is going to be 4 plus 1 is going to give us uh, 5. This side length is going to be 8 plus 2 is going to give us uh, 10. This side length is going to be 8 plus 3 is going to give us 11. And finally this side length is going to be 4 plus 4 is going to be 8 units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to h times a plus b divided by 2. And in our case our height h is 8. Our bases are a equals to 5 and b equals to 11. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So our area a is going to be our height is 8 times a is 5 plus 11 whole everything divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and simplify. So this is going to be 8 times 16 divided by 2 and that is going to give us our area equals to 64 square units. So thus the area of this trapezoid turns out to be 64 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.